Welcome to my daily reviews for Harry Potter. Uh, well, we're obviously starting off with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which came out in 2001 and is, well, a freaking phenomenon and, and, uh, and all. I mean, it's Harry Potter's huge, man. <laughs> but I was introduced to this when I was like six or seven, probably. So it's a very nostalgic thing for me, especially this movie. So just letting you know that ahead of time. But I remember reading all the books when I was really young. I was I was, I, I read freaking all of them when I was like eight. Like I'm not even kidding. But yeah, and I loved the movies. So I, it was a very nostalgic thing for me. I still have my freaking Harry Potter wand, glasses, freaking robe. I'll wear them in one of these, I promise. I think I might wait till Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, but I'm not sure about that. We'll see. But, yeah, to, to, just to get on to re the review, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is, well, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It's the story of Harry Potter, who, uh, well, his parents got killed by Voldemort, the man who must not be named. And he is essentially sent to live with his friggin' uh, uncle, aunt, and cousin, who, the Dursleys, who are just awful people for 11 years until he is invited to go to Hogwarts School of Magic. And once he gets there, he meets, or well, on a train there, I guess, he meets his friends Ron and Hermione, uh, who we follow throughout the series, and they do magic and stuff, and then they find out about the Sorcerer's Stone. And that's all I'm going to say right at the moment. Uh, we'll probably get into some spoilers. Just going to let you know that right now. But if you haven't seen this, that's kind of on you, I guess. But yeah, so... Cause this is a great movie. This is a very, very fun movie. I love this movie. Uh, a lot more than a lot of people do. It's a very underrated one, kind of. I mean, I don't know. It's just people don't give this one enough t attention. I think this is a very solid uh, starting movie. There is one flaw with this movie, I will say. I don't like one thing about this movie. That is all the exposition. It's entertaining. I love finding out about this world, but there's way too much of it. There's like over an hour until the Sorcerer's Stone is even mentioned in the movie. I think it's like an hour and a half or something. It's, it's insane. It's way too long to get to the actual plot of the movie. It takes way too long. But not to say that it's not fun. It is very fun. I love seeing Harry Potter learn all these uh, spells and learn how to fly on a, on a broomstick and become a Quidditch player all in his first year. Um, I love the chemistry between these kids. The casting is perfect. Ron, Hermione, and Harry, of course, uh, are just, they're great together. It's great to see them meet for the first time. I love uh, Daniel Radcliffe's performance in here. Uh, he, even at ch a young age, uh, as a child performance, it's, it's great. Uh, Rupert Grint as Ron Weasley, just a great character, hilarious, I love him. Uh, Emma Watson as Hermione, who might be my favorite character. I'm not going to say that yet, because I'm not sure, but I, I love her. She's awesome. Uh, and I love Hagrid. Uh, ha who remembers? Uh, I almost said who remembers Hagrid. Of course, everyone, everyone remembers Hagrid. Hagrid is awesome. I want to hug him every time I see him. He's so likable. I love Hagrid. He's awesome. Dumbledore is awesome. Alan Rickman as Snape is fantastic. It's the best performance in the movie, I think. Uh, he just has this slimy eeriness to him that I love. And he's just, he's great in the movie. Rest in peace, Rickman. This is probably my favorite role of yours. You're great. But, yeah, so... It's just... It's a great, fun introduction to our characters. I'm, I've been talking a little too much about the characters, cause, but they're awesome. I gotta establish them at least a little bit. Uh, Maggie Smith is McGonagall. She's... Once again, very likable. And Jericho Malfoy. Um, I hate that kid. Uh, even in this movie, he's a freaking douche nozzle. <laughs> I don't I never used that word before, but cool. He is freaking... I hate him. <laughs> he, oh, God, that kid. Okay, okay let's, just, let's move on. To the actual plot of the movie. And the ending, I'm actually going to get jumped to right now. I like how they have to use their various powers... To get through the chess uh, tournament and the what was what was it called double snare and all that crap, that was really cool. They they had to use their various talents and Hermione kind of helps them through most of it, but I don't care. It, it works. It works very well. And when Harry gets to this, I forgot what it was like the freaking 
almost like underground cavern, whatever the frig it was, and he meets a, like uh, the professor, Professor Quill, I believe is his name, who is kind of Voldemort. He's like Voldemort is speaking through him, almost like uh, or like the uh, the devil uh, spoke through the snake in the Bible. I don't know if you want to get religious about it, uh, but yeah, it's kind of like that and. For a movie that doesn't have Voldemort really in it, it sets him up perfectly. It's it's fantastic buildup. They talk about him so much throughout the movie, but you never really see Voldemort per se in in the human flesh, I guess. Um, and it, it's fantastic the way they set it up. I love it. I think this is a great setup to our uh, our universe to come. I love seeing that like that scene with as I was just referring to. Him with freaking Professor Quill. It's very dark. It hints at stuff that's going to happen later on. And I really like that about this movie. Yeah, I had a, a great time with this movie. I watch this movie at least like two times a year. I don't know why. It's just a nostalgic thing for me. I just love watching these movies. Uh, but from a critical standpoint, it is, does have some flaws. It's not a perfect movie, but I love this movie. I'm going to give it an A-. minus. It's... Yeah, that's my critical grade for it. I'd probably give it an A if it weren't for freaking uh, the whole critic side of me that wants to judge the movie cause it, uh, as being a movie. But yeah, Harry Potter is such a nostalgic thing for me. I'm... Uh, I don't know. I, in one of these videos, I'll probably show you some of my Harry Potter stuff because I collected a decent bit throughout the years. And I can't wait for Fantastic Beast and where to find them. I will be seeing that soon. But yeah, so that's my review for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, so peace.